Today is the birth anniversary of one of the greatest saints who ever visited the earth, at whose feet I had the good luck to sit and enjoy. Each man must have some beloved. One sort of beloved, not that one leaves you, but who is ever with you, who does not leave you in this life and in life hereafter. And who can be he? Well, the God in him. And who was he? My master, my son. He was man in God. To love the master and to love God. The God in him, not the Son of Man. So somebody asked our Master, well, why, how should we address you? He says, take me as your brother, as your father, as your friend, as your teacher. That's backed up to what I say, you know. When you rise above and you find him inside too, and there he is also competent to guide, then you may call me by any name you like. So all masters say, take to the feet of such a person, you see, human body. That God power at whose pole it works. Who can guide you well in body and also when you transcend this physical body and also astral body and causal body? Take the feet of the Satya Master. The beauty of our Master was, you see, he addressed us very respectfully. How Babuji? <laughs> How Raisa? He was very loving. The ne master never makes you slaves of you, mind that. He makes you friends, you see. And why? If you do whatsoever I command you, henceforth I call you not as servants, for the servants knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you as my friends, for all things I have known of my Father I have made known to you. Our Master, what did he say? Told us, he said, This is the truth you have been given. If you find more than that anywhere, you go and tell me, I will also go. We are worshippers of truth, you see, not personality, this and that thing. I had one instance in my life, my Master, Baba Samsi, he met one follower of Rai Sologram, I tell you, Shivetla. He is a very advanced soul, you see. In the first meeting when they met, I was there along with them. He was bowing down to my master and my master was bowing down to him. <laughs> they are embracing. But those who are the way, why should they not embrace? How, why should they not feel joy? He had love for all. Sometimes it so happened in his life. You see, some people break up so many things, you see. They found a platform against him, just talks were given here, and they had another platform. They're quite sad, here and like close by. <coughs> he never uttered anything. He said, they used to say so many things, good or bad, anything like that. And poor fellow, no arrangement for their food. We 
because they had to come from here and give that propaganda against the master, so they had to arrange for food, bringing outside. When they have given their all talks against him, he came down there, they the brothers, they are the same way. You are here all alone, our kitchen is already ready, you have your food here. <laughs> you have your food here and do propaganda against me. <laughs> this is what is meant, love your enemy, you see. Without any consideration, the word I have given this message. Practical experience. He lived it. <laughs> and this is what the lesson is. He wrote to me, you know, sometimes out of love, one letter has been my very guiding all through my life. He says, We are very saints coming to the world. We have no easy life. He says, well, that you are in the satsang, so many kind of people come out, some come to praise, appreciate. They come to love and surrender, and others come only to find faults, <laughs> to criticize. He says, if the bad man does not leave off his bad habits, why a good man leave his good habits? <laughs> The man who is overflowing with love, that is, you mind that, the criterion of a saint is that he is overflowing with love for all. You know, come to praise him and others who come to criticize him too. He loves him. He is polite, he is loving. He, he just put forth and don't impose. He will put forth something like that, you know. It was the grace of my master. I used to go to him twice a week and sometimes weekly. The best I could, the maximum I could. And sometimes it was so happy that I did not, could not go. And he would send me to go, I don't know why I did not come. <laughs> sometimes it so happened he took the car and reached Lahore. That is about 40 miles. And I stood under the office and send a man out, and I found him down. <laughs> if you love the Master, Master loves you most. You become the beloved of the beloved. We have not ever thought of the value of love. So for love, I say, one who loves is a lover of the beloved, and one who obeys is become the beloved of the beloved. Who is greater? And that love should all so be with a respectful mood. Well, I wrote to my master letter, which I say that I crave, don't be love, your love, but that love should be within respectful limits. Sometimes out of love we transcend the limits. Sometimes people want to overrule the whom we love, you see. That's not the way of the true love. He received the letter, put it on his best. He said, I want such a one who loves, within his faithful love. The love knows no showing, you see. He feels at all. I think when you meet such a master and live hundred percent according to his teaching, well, you cannot return, you will go to the highest if possible. <laughs>